This video shows the wall reinforcement for solid walls of the Revit precast tools. The definition of the wall reinforcement is done in the configuration. Here in the tree is the wall reinforcement with the reinforcement types. Under definition, we can define as many reinforcement types as we want for the area reinforcement and also for the edge reinforcement. For the area reinforcement we have here for example a type with two layers. With this button we can edit the type. We have here the inside and the outside layer. The number of layer can be chosen here. Here is the reinforcement type which can be steel bars or mesh. The position of the layer can be inside, outside or in the center of the wall. The rebars can also have an offset to the face. If it is zero, the cover will be used. Here the rebars itself are defined. The rebar type, the distance can be set with a maximum distance or a fixed distance or with a numbers of bar. The bar direction can be horizontal or vertical and we can have an optional offset on the each side. The same must be done for the vertical bars. Here is the definition of the edge reinforcement. We can choose here different types. For each type we can define if one or two layers should be created. Here is the rebar type and the overlapping. Length for the corner for example 500. In this area we define the bending form for the corner bars and here are the parameter for it. In the configuration tree there are the default settings where we define which type should be used in which conditions. For the area reinforcement we define for example for a wall thickness from 100 to 200 the program should use this reinforcement type with one layer and from 200 to 500 this type. The type can also be viewed and edited with this button. For the edge reinforcement we define for example from 100 to 500 this type should be used. Now let's save the settings. When we now choose this wall and start the segmentation of this wall, the program not only creates the wall elements, it creates also the reinforcement according to our definition. Here are our two elements with the reinforcement. The reinforcement is structural area reinforcement with all the behavior of Revit reinforcement. If for example, if we change the sill height of this window to 1300, the reinforcement adapts automatically. In the original wall, the reinforcement type is stored. We can edit this with the command IDAT properties. We see here the type which is set according to our rules from the configuration. We can change this type here also for example to two layer type. When we split this wall again, we get now two layers of reinforcement. We see here now these two layers. The reinforcement type is also stored in the assembly itself. When we select the assembly and call the IDAT properties command, we see the reinforcement type. Now let's choose the type with one layer. We can also overwrite this type here with the edit button. For example the vertical bars should have an offset of minus 300 on the top. If we click OK, the new reinforcement is created. 
We have now only one layer and the vertical bars overlap on the top with 300.